Off the Rock Productions presents Sound Waves, a series of radio plays for the discerning listener. This week, What Kind of Vegetable Would You Be? by Alison Young. come to this. Attention everyone, attention. Can we have a bit of hush at the back please? You know who you are. Thank you. Welcome to our first date or dump event. I'll be your hostess, Sally, bringing you one step closer to meeting that special someone. The rules are simple. Ladies, sit at the table corresponding to your badge. Gentlemen, do the same. And when you hear the bell, chime like this. Time's up. Ladies, stay seated. And men, move clockwise onto your next unsuspecting victim. (laughs) I mean, lucky lady. At the end of each date, you mark your card by ticking date, dump, Or ask me again after a few tequilas. (laughs) Seems heartless, but that's the brutal world we're living in, folks. So without further ado, on your marks, get set and go get them, tigers. Shoot me. Shoot me now. Hi. Hello. Uh, (coughs) How do you do? I do well, thank you. How do you do? Sorry? Oh, I see what you did there. Very good. Good. So, this is a bit strange, isn't it? Have you ever done anything like this before? Speed dating, I mean, not conversing with a strange woman. (laughs) Uh, No, no, it's all new to me. How about you? No, I'm a virgin speed dater. (laughs) So to speak. Tom, isn't it? Yes, and you're... Oh, sorry, my hair's in the way. It's Jenna. Nice to meet you, Tom. So, Tom, what is it you do? I do many things. I make my living as a data entry clerk. Oh, right. Well, that sounds, um, interesting. (laughs) Do you enjoy it? It pays the bills. Well, we all need to keep the walls from the door. (laughs) I work as a personal shopper myself. All right. What does that entail, then? I basically get to shop for a living. (laughs) It's all tremendous fun. (laughs) I dress other people for special occasions. You know, weddings, christenings, that sort of thing. Funerals. Graduations, bar mitzvahs. I dressed someone for their pet iguana's cremation once. Where do you stand on Brexit? Brexit! (laughs) Oh, God, Brexit. (laughs) Huge news, of course, huge news. I mean, (laughs) just don't get me started. (laughs) Hmm? Sorry, I still don't quite know where you stand. For the people. I stand for the people. And all that are affected by uh, the repercussions of Brexit. And the economy. Do you follow politics? (laughs) Oh, do I follow politics. (laughs) If only you knew. (laughs) Well, do you? No. Nice to meet you, Emma. Jenna. It's Jenna. (laughs) Oh, fuckity fuck, why the arse did I think this would be a good idea? Hello, lovely to meet you. I'm Jenna. Let me stop you right there. Jeremiah is the name. Okay. So as we have little time and I don't want to waste it, I've come up with a series of questions to ascertain whether we are compatible. Sound good? Are you ready for the first one? Uh, bye. (laughs) Uh, Yes, I guess. 
Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. No time to waste. Let's have a little enthusiasm. Are you ready? Yes, ready. Right. Don't think and just answer. Quick as you can. Question one. Are you a dog or a cat person? Um, dog. Would you rather be too hot or too cold? Um, hot? I mean cold. No, hot. Definitely hot. Favourite colour? Purple. How old are you? 35. 35? Yeah. Oh, no, I mean there's nothing wrong with 35. I know. Favourite sexual position? What? Favourite sexual position? Um, what kind of fucking question is that? A fucking compatibility question. Yeah. I don't think I'll answer that. Oh, come on, don't be uptight. Look, let's turn the tables. You can ask me anything you like. Anything at all. I am an open book. Well? Okay. Um, Jeremiah, isn't it? Um, what do you do for a living? What do I do for a living? Seriously? That's the best you can do? Boring! Next! Why not be a little more creative? You can ask me anything. Seriously, anything. Anything? Anything. All right. If you were to be a vegetable, what kind of vegetable would you be? If I were to be a... Vegetable. If you were to be a vegetable. You're taking the piss. What the fuck kind of question is that? A compatibility question. That is not a compatibility question. Okay, it's a vegetable-based question. Humour me. You said anything. <sighs> Can't believe I'm going to answer this. Okay. Turnip. I'd be a turnip. Interesting. Why a turnip? I like turnips. They're an underrated vegetable. And on that note, Jeremiah, it's been enlightening. Bell end. Absolute bell end. I need a category harsher than dump. Jenna? What the? I had no idea you'd be here. Clearly not. <laughs> I don't believe this. <laughs> you look well. How have you been? Oh, great. I've been great. Great? You're not sitting down. Don't you dare sit down. God, don't, don't you think that's a bit petty? No, I think it's appropriate. I don't have anything to say to you. Then don't have anything to say to me whilst I'm sat down. What are you even doing here? Don't tell me your baby mama's dumped you already. No, we're just... On a break. On a break? You get another woman pregnant whilst you're with me and you want to ditch her? Not ditch. We're just s slowing things down to reassess what we both want. unbe fucking -leavable. So she knows you're dating other people, does she? Well, yeah, she, she knows how things are. <laughs> oh, like I did. <laughs> I'm really not here for any drama. I didn't mean to disturb your evening. Well, you have. I was having a lovely time, and in typical Jamie fashion, you just swan in and... <sighs> uh, oh, lovely time. So, um, you think you might have met Mr. Wright, then? Actually, yes. Yes, I think I might have. <laughs> really? Yes, really. Not that it's any of your business. But I felt a real connection with Jaso, you know, Jeremiah. We happen to have a lot in common. Do you now? Like what? Well, for one thing, the horticulture. He has a most probing mind. Okay, Jenna. Look, it's okay to admit you miss me, you know. Just leave me alone. Look, I, I really didn't. Please. Just a few more seconds left on the clock till it's time to move on. Use them wisely. Are you okay? Oh, 
okay. Dave, is it? Hey, Dave. I'm going to lay my cards on the table if that's all right with you. Sure. Dave, I don't know if I can do this. I don't think I'm exactly at my best right now. You're not meeting me in my finest hour. You see, right now, I'm trying to figure out whether I'm in the middle of an epiphany or a breakdown. It's a thin line, Dave. It really is. And I don't think I can do the inane questions thing, the whole coy, flirty thing, the do we like each other dance, the what should I wear, how should I act, does he like me, do I like him, why hasn't he called me, why is he calling so much, the shit, we're in a relationship phase, the where's this all going phase, the wow, how have I suddenly put on so much weight phase? The can't bear to be apart phase. The can't stand to be together phase. The why is he working late phase. The why am I drinking so much alone phase. And then there's the breakup, Dave. The inevitable breakup. And if there isn't a breakup, then even worse, there's a bloody marriage and children and death or divorce. But ultimately, death, because it's the beginning of the end and it all starts with apparently insignificant interactions just like this. But I'm supposed to have my shit together, Dave. Because I'm 35, and the clock is ticking, and my womb is drying up, and my eggs apparently have an expiry date. Like, like, uh, well, actual eggs. And I'm starting to wonder if it's really truly what I want, or if it's just what has been drilled into the consciousness of my mind by religion, and the media, and society, and... And watching the notebook too many times. <laughs> and I'm starting to realize that the most significant relationship you have in life is, is the one you have with yourself. <sighs> Isn't that right? Dave, don't you think? Jenna. Yes, Dave. I need to use the bathroom. If you'll just excuse me. You've been listening to What Kind of Vegetable Would You Be? by Alison Young. Jenna was played by Anne Crossley Sally by Jane Allenach Tom by Max Palmer Jeremiah by Jake Telfer Jamie by Alexander King and Dave by Guy Matthews What Kind of Vegetable Would You Be? was produced by Alexander King and directed by Mike Hickman for Off The Rock Productions for more information about Off The Rock Productions, please visit our website at offtherockproductions.co.uk.